Here we're looking at squaring algebraic expressions which contain three variables. Just remember what it means to square something. To square something uh, simply means to multiply it by itself. So if I had uh, 5 squared, it basically means 5 multiplied by 5, which is 25. And that's the same as putting 5 into two brackets. So brackets mean multiplication. If you need help on the easier ones, which can include two variables, check out the other video. But this video is looking at three variables within the brackets. The process is the same. Uh, first of all, we have to examine what the squared means. And as we said, a squared means you're multiplying the term by itself. So I'm basically multiplying x squared plus 2x minus 3 by itself. And itself is x squared plus 2x minus 3. So I'm multiplying all of those two terms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first term out of the first bracket, which is x squared. And then I'm going to multiply it by everything that's in the second bracket. So it's x squared multiplied by x squared plus 2x minus 3. So that's the first step. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second term from the first bracket, which is the plus 2x. And I'm now going to multiply it once again by everything that's in the second bracket which is the x squared plus 2x minus 3. I'm then coming to the third term in the first bracket, and I'm multiplying it by everything again that's in the second bracket. So I'm taking the minus 3 multiplied by x squared plus 2x minus 3. So you should have three multiplications going on, the first term, the second term, and the third term. So that's... Uh, multiplying with three terms and it's the same with n amount of terms so n standing for the number of terms so if it was four terms you would just have four sets of multiplication so let's practice our multiplication here now and multiply all of these out so first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to multiply the x squared by the x squared x squared multiplied by x squared is x to the power of four so i'm adding the powers basically i'm then multiplying the x squared by 2x now we know there's a number in front of this x squared and it's a one. We don't have to show the one. It's like the pen in your hand. You say a pen, you don't have to say one pen in my hand. So x multiplied by, or sorry, x squared multiplied by two x is giving me positive two because one by two is two and x squared by x add the powers becomes x to the power of three. I'm then going to the third jump, x squared multiplied by minus three which is giving me minus 3x squared. So that's everything multiplied out in the first term, uh, or first set of brackets. Next, I'm coming to the second set of brackets. So it's 2x multiplied by x squared. Once again, remember that there's a 1 in front of this x squared if you want to put that 1 in. So 2 multiplied by 1 is giving me positive 2. Let's change the colors here so we can keep track of our brackets. So that becomes 2 and x multiplied by x squared is giving me x to the power of 3. So we add our powers. I'm now multiplying the 2x by the 2x. So 2 by 2 is 4. x by x is x squared. And my final jump is the 2x multiplied by the minus 3, which is giving me a minus because it's different signs. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, and it's 6x. I'm now coming to the third bracket. So I'm now multiplying in minus 3 by x squared, which is giving me negative 3x squared. I'm then multiplying the minus 3 by the 2x. Again, different signs are giving me a minus. So minus by plus gives me a minus. 3 by 2x is minus 6x. And my final jump is the minus 3 by the minus 3. Minus by minus gives me a plus. 3 by 3 gives me 9. Okay, so now we need to group common terms. We just need to tidy it up, basically. So let's hi highlight off what we can put together. So let's start with the uh, x to the power of 4. Well, I have an x to the power of 4 here. That's my only x to the power of 4, so that's dealt with. So x to the power of 4. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my degrees of 3, or powers of 3. Well, I have a positive 2x cubed and a positive 2x cubed. That's giving me positive 4x cubed. That is all my x cubes. Let's come to the degree of 2, the power of 2. 
I have a negative x cubed, or sorry, x squared, I should say. Let me just get my rubber here. And I have a positive 4x squared and I have a negative 3x squared. So negative 3 uh, plus 4 is positive 1, positive 1 take away 3 is negative 2. So that's giving me negative 2x squared. I'm then coming to the x's. So I have a negative 6x, take away another 6x which is giving me negative 12x. And finally I have my constant which is my plus 9. So I'm putting that at the end. So that's my answer. x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay, let's come over to our second example. So again, take your time with it. Make sure you understand what the squared means. The squared means you're multiplying it by itself. So we're multiplying 2a plus 3b minus 3 by itself, which is 2a plus 3b minus 3. We're going to take the first term from the first bracket, which is 2a. We're going to multiply it by everything that's in the second bracket, which is 2a plus 3b minus 3. I'm then taking my third term, which is the positive 3b, and I'm multiplying it by everything that's in the second bracket once again. And my second bracket is 2a plus 3b minus 3. I'm then taking the third term from my first bracket, which is this negative 3, and I'm multiplying it by everything that's in the second bracket once again. So it's 2a plus 3b minus 3. I'm now going to multiply in my bracket. So take your time once again. So 2a multiplied by 2a. 2 by 2 is 4. a by a is a squared. 2a by 3b is 2 by 3 is 6. a by b is ab. And finally, 2a multiplied by the minus 3 is giving me negative 6a. So that's everything in the first bracket multiplied out. Coming now to the second bracket, again, I'm multiplying in with my arrows. 3b multiplied by 2a is giving me a positive 6ab. Now, it doesn't matter if you write that as 6ba, I'm just writing it alphabetically, but ab multiplied by ba is the same thing. It's known as commutative. I'm now going to multiply the 3b by the 3b. 3 by 3 is giving me a 9, b by b is giving me a b squared. Then I'm multiplying the 3b by the minus 3. Different signs give me a negative. 3 by 3 is 9b. Okay, so that's everything in the second bracket. 6ab plus 9b squared minus 9b. My final set of brackets, it's minus 3 multiplied by 2a, which is giving me minus 6a. And then I'm going to multiply the minus 3 by the 3b, which is giving me a negative, because minus by a plus gives me a minus, 9b. And my final jump is the minus 3 multiplied by the minus 3. Minus by minus gives me a plus. 3 by 3 gives me a 9. Okay, so that's all terms multiplied out. Now we want to see, can we group anything? So as I look at it, I can see here that I have a 6ab and I have another ab over here. So that's giving me 12ab. Uh, I'm then going to see, is there anything else? I have some a's in common. So I have a negative 6a and I have another negative 6a. So I'm going to put those two together. I also have a minus 9b and another minus 9b. So I'm going to put those together. And that seems to be it. So what's our final answer going to give us there? It's going to be a 4a squared. Now I'm putting the ones with the green highlighter, the 6ab plus the 6ab, which is giving me positive 12ab. Again, that's the same as 12ba. The yellow highlighters, minus 6a minus 6a is giving me minus 12a on my number line. Again, we're not multiplying, so it doesn't become a squared. And then I'm looking at the purple highlighter, which is minus 9b minus 9b, which is bringing me back on my number line to minus 18b. And then I'm going to put in my positive 9b squared. And then I'm going to put in, finally, my constant, which is my plus b. 
And that's two examples of squaring algebraic expressions with three variables.